So I decided to light the bottom up real quick just to see what I used for the freezer wall and it is indeed cool white LEDs not blue. And going through some video reference that I had created for all the blinking lights on this ship it looks like the freezer computer lights are also going to be cool white so I wanted to check on that before I made the decision to install the LEDs onto the board to get all of these fiber optics flashing. At first this didn't light up and it turns out it was just a little bit of a short something was laying across something else somewhere and what I realized is that I'm going to be able to trim down a lot of these wires and make this much more efficient so I'm happy about that as is there's too much bulk wiring going on and I think that was pretty obvious to me from the start always knowing that I would be trimming it down once everything was in place now that I'm getting closer to having everything in place I'm really happy about that and now that I'm getting closer to getting this going so that it's ready to be installed here this has to be ready to have it installed which means I'll be looking at the fusion core uh, really soon with all the sequencers we'll light all those up side by side and uh, see how it looks in place it also means I'm going to have to install the legs pretty soon and it may even mean that I have to paint the bottom of the hull pretty soon I'm hoping that's not the case painting the legs I can do that preliminary painting and definitely the wells over here as well I can paint those and as well as the inner doors too which I think I've already painted but the lower hull is about to start getting some more work than it's seen in a long time this was one of the first things I did and here we go. So one of my concerns about installing the sequencer behind uh, this wall here was that I wanted all the light to bounce back into the freezer walls themselves. What I'm finding is that having the board attached right here there really isn't the shadow going on that I thought there would be on either side I had thought that light would get blocked and all that kind of thing but I think this is really gonna work out so with that in mind I'm going to install the sequencer right here and I think I'm going to be gluing it to that board there because there's no way for me to use uh, anything else really can't really quite attach it to the metal here which would be nice because I don't know how much leg room or how much headroom is going to be needed I don't want to install it low so it should fit right there technically and of course right now the floor is not sitting in proper place so I'm not too worried about this shape here being representative of where the upper hull is going to be. It's all the LEDs that the sequencer needs to feed. So as I was saying, all the LEDs that that sequencer needs to feed are getting piped in right there. So if the board is off to the side over here where it won't fit, so that's no good. Over here, I might be able to wedge it right into that slot there. I think that might be ideal because then the wire can follow this pipe right there and come down and feed LEDs right there. Now for the moment, as this is the first one, I'm going to install the board in this area here and that means tucking it in a little bit far but it also means drilling a new hole in the floor because the current one which is feeding the fiber is not going to be big enough for all the wire as well. I got the Dremel on slow to start.
and I'm not going to risk hitting anything underneath. That is good. So now that that's done, let's step up to a bigger drill. So far these LEDs were just temporaries that I had twisted into place. So that just leaves this bundle of wire to be threaded through here one at a time. power wires will go down there eventually too. At the moment I just want to get this into place. When I say install it I mean just set it here basically. I don't want the resistor on this side to get too close to that fiber optics and I don't want the capacitor on this side to get too close to the wall but I do want the entire thing to be inside of this profile here and it is just barely doing that right now. And of course if I need to, which I think I'll do anyway, I can always cut this entire end off of here, which I'll do right now. You can use a normal scissors, no problem. I just happen to have that on hand. And I could even trim this down further if I needed to as well. Downside to putting it here is I won't be able to change the intensity of the LED brightness once it's fully installed. However, once it's fully installed, I won't need to change the brightness because I'll have it set where I want it. Yeah, that can go here for now, and we'll pass the power below as well. I don't want to go installing this permanently yet until I know the brightness of the buttons. So this will immediately need to get tucked down as flat as possible. I'm glad to say that one foot of wire will just reach the LEDs where they need to go, so I'm happy about that. That would have been a bad thing if it happened otherwise. Out of all of this mess, there is a spare tube down here that I can feed this through to keep it under control. And that is something I am definitely interested in doing here. The only question is which direction is the best direction to tackle this from. Going over this stuff and holding it down. And where do these power up to? Wow, I really wish I didn't use this solid core wire at the time because it really sucks pain in the ass. You can't flex it anywhere without risk of breaking it. Looks like my drilling knocked this bit of railroad tie out of place. We'll just drop a little more glue underneath and press it back down. 